Hello everyone, let's make plastic can pots. With a marker, draw a line on the lower half of the can. And above the line, draw some baby lines and a little circle on the center of the curve. And mark a line around the top part of the handle. Using a knife, carefully cut along the curve and lines we drew. Give it a circle for holes. Now remove the can stop, make the top half of the handle like a grass. And fix some fake flowers by melting the tips. Fake an original plant in one pot. We are done with flora, now with fauna. Take another can. Using a marker, draw an elephant's legs on both sides and its head and trunk on the handle. It's not an elephant, it's an elephant plant. You can also add some tusk or even make another animal. Using a knife, carefully release our elephant and using the scrap, carve its ears and fix them. Remove the cap. On the bottom part of the can, make a hole slightly bigger than the cap and punch holes on it. Now secure it upside down on the elephant's back using the cap. Insert a thread on the top, make some lovely flowers with a scrap with a bead at the center and fix it to the pot. While making hung pots like these, you have to be conscious on how much water you give to them since you have to deal with the draining water. Mark lines on another can and make adjacent circles on the line. Now carefully cut along the lines using a knife and remove the scrap. Making a circle shaped cutout from plastic is a very tedious process, so you have to do it very gently and it requires much amount of patience. So once when you remove the scrap, you can use it to make some beautiful flowers for another can. Draw a flower, cut it. Make the pistol by coiling a thick yellow thread and fix on the pot. Make drain holes and you have a pot with a handle. Draw two parallel lines in the middle of a can and some curves using a bottle cap. You'll need to cut the bottle can two times. Go for the top one first and the bottom one the second to avoid any errors. Cut the top and middle part. Make the top half of the handle like a flower and glue the top half upside down. And fill in the double decker parts with your favorite plants of your choice. On a jerry can, mark the lower half of the can and draw a huge triangle on one side up to the top half and some half circles using a coin. On the other side, draw a long rectangle at the bottom and cut the lines carefully using a knife. To avoid silly mistakes, first cow out the dispenser hole. Skew some holes in the curves. Once again, you have to test your own patience to cut through a lot of curves on this can. And you need not follow the same cloudy design. You can even go for whatever patterns you wanted. And you'll get a cover of the shoe dispenser. Now let's move back to to make our own pot collection. Thank you for watching this video.